Friends and family, I would like you to check out blackcommunityspeak.com. Now, blackcommunityspeak.com is a forum based website. So, something that's very simple where you can get on, you can get off, you know, get involved with a lot of topics. Now, Black Community Speaks is a place that's for black men and women to talk about issues that's affecting the entire community. So, on blackcommunityspeak.com, they talk about topics in the range of news, uh, what's going on in society, relationships, technology, business, food and recipes, gaming, health and fitness, you know, music and many, many more. Um, on Black Community Speak, it's a place where you can be safe to say what you want to say without the fear of big tech censorship. So make sure you head on over to blackcommunityspeak.com and sign up today. me, Demetra K of the Demetra K Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So on June 26th, uh, Nathan Allen, a 28-year-old man of uh, Massachusetts, decided to go and kill black people. Now, before he did that, he stole a plumber's truck, ran it into a house, and two bystanders, one by the name of David Green and Ramona Cooper, were murdered, David being shot in his head four times and Ramona being shot in her back three times. Now, David was a retired police officer and Ramona was a staff sergeant there in the U.S. Um, Armed for, uh, U.S. Uh, Air Force, rather. And... So yeah, he decided to kill them and he was killed before he can go on to kill more people. Now, the district attorney there in Massachusetts said the following. She says, he walked by several people that were not black and they are alive. They were not harmed. They are alive and these two visible people of color are not. And then she also says, this is a sad day. These two people protected our rights. They fought for us to be safe and to have the opinions that we have and they were executed yesterday. And we will find out why and find out more about this man who did this. Now, they also said they found anti-Semitic and anti-Black writings, which is why they're calling it a possible hate crime. I mean, it sounds like it's a blatant hate crime to me. But, yeah, so they're going to try to get to the bottom of, you know, what he was really about. I'm sure we'll learn more about him. But, you know, it's... it's <sighs> Asians have a hate crime bill that makes them a protected class of citizens due to some of the recent things that have been going on with them. But black people, we still don't have a, a hate crime bill uh, that protects us due to all of the horrors that we've been through and are still going through. And Congress, black congressional caucus, none of them are really interested in pushing forward any legislation to help protect black people and make us a protected class of citizens at all. I mean, in fact, recently, the uh, CBC, Congressional Black Caucus, has decided to really just forego the qualified immunity in the George Floyd Act. They want to come, you know, back to it. They're never going to come back to it, right? But, you know, this is what black people have to go through. We have to be murdered in the streets in cold blood. Um, and people still overlook us as needing to be protected class of citizen. Crazy. So anyway, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. subscribe to the African Diaspora News Channel app on these platforms.